Morning, so it's another travel day video and I'm starting off my journey from Luton Airport this time and I'm actually going on their new Dart Parkway. I think that's what it's called. It's a train that runs from the train station to the airport every six minutes. It does cost you about nine pound return and uh, it does go quite quickly so we better go on it because it's actually here, come on. And just like Stansted, this one is completely automated so there's no driver and it should get you into the terminal building in around about two minutes. There's not many of these trams that literally go right underneath the runway. Look, there's the actual entrance to the runway, the runway lights. It would have been good if there'd have been a plane going over just then. There's even a departure point here as well. So now it's even quicker to get from the train station to the airport using this uh, little train. And if you think about how much Luton Airport has changed over the years when it was that small little easy jet building to what it is now, it's quite impressive. So travelling down to Alicante on Ryanair today, I have paid for a bag that is to go on board with me rather than the hold it's priority boarding i don't book it because it's priority boarding i just book it because it's the uh, the ease of taking your bag on board where do we go it's now so easy to get to the airport from the train station Loon Airport is so easy to navigate. Literally, check-in is over there. Yikes. Thank God I don't need to do the bag drop today for EasyJet. Look at the queue. Worst thing about airports, the queues. So yeah, all the check-ins are literally just down there. But then your departure's on the right. I think there's a few shops in here, but not many. But I still need to put my liquids in the clear bag. A tight squeeze. Now I always worry that they won't let me through if I don't do it up. I can't do this up, so I'm just going to have to leave it like that. See what happens. I'll let you know on the other side. Obviously, I can't film through the, uh, the security. Wow, the nerve of some people. So I had my bag open. I dropped it all over the floor. I know, rookie mistake. And uh, I was in a queue literally trying to go through security. You couldn't really move. You know, there's people right up against you. Yet, even though I was picking up everything up off the floor, the person behind me still decided to cut in line instead of helping me. Anyway, let's go through departures. I need to get a cup of tea. No sparkly floor here in Luton. These are actually pretty good, so you don't have to worry about looking at the screens. You can uh, check the details. You can even scan my boarding pass and it will tell me which gate to go to all about the flight. That's pretty good. Why do they always have such high-end shops in an airport? Breakfast box. This is a good idea. Bacon roll and a cup of tea and a water for £8. I think I'll wait till I get on board just because I'm in a little bit of a rush today. Now Luton does have a bar that has uh, outside seating. So this is the main departure lounge. Basically like a, uh, a big rectangle. I don't know if I like early morning flights though because uh, there's always queues everywhere in the airport. So if you want runway views, you get a little bit of sun while you're here in Luton. <coughs> Is that you can head out here. No sun though. But partial runway views anyway. I tell you what, the airport is absolutely crazy this morning. People pushing past you. Why do people have to be so rude? I thought if they're at the airport, they're on their holidays or looking to go on holiday, they should be in a good mood, but a lot of people seem stressed. So I'm expecting the flights at Alicante to be very busy. I have booked a window seat. 
should be this way. So the flight time is two and a bit hours today, which is quite nice because I've had a lot of long flights recently. I've got car hire waiting for me on the other side, which is scheduled for around about midday. We land at about 11, so fingers crossed we're not delayed. We should be able to get the car hire on time. Let's go. It's so hard to film, hold a cup of tea and a case all at the same time. Thank you. As always, I'm on the back. Weather's cloudy at the moment, but hopefully some sunny skies when we get into Benidorm. Good morning. Good morning. About 15 minutes late. Not too bad then, and we're off. Another plane there waiting to take off, but it's just been pulled right off the runway waiting on these stands. So we've got to wait here for about 30 minutes. The reason for this apparently is because of um, there's strikes in France. Flight time is uh, 2 hours 10 minutes on the flight dish that will make your bumps at the moment here. Weather in Alicante is beautiful day, temperature should reach 23 degrees to your sky. Cabin crew will give a safety demonstration. Please give visual attention as it is for your benefit. Sit back, relax. Enjoy the flight. when it comes to food on board because there's no menu cards anymore. You have to scan that. But you can only scan that when you're on the ground. They don't tell you that. So I've gone for a cheese and ham croissant, a cup of tea and a Kit Kat, which came to £10.50. in the sunshine it's always nice when you step off the plane and you feel the heat especially as it was so miserable over in Luton right now it's time to go and check out where I get my car I think I can remember because uh, I hired a car last year when I was in Alicante so and it's around about a, a 40 minute drive to Benidorm So a lot of the car hire is in front of me, but I think I've got to go a little bit further across the other side. Take a right, follow the car rental signage. Firefly office is located at the end of the car rental area inside the arrivals hall. Seriously, every time I book car hire, it's always with a different company I've never heard of. It's nothing worse as well when you turn up and there's a queue because there's always so much stuff to go through when you hire a car. Here it is, Firefly. Never heard of them before. Hello, just picking, up a, picking up a car. We're fairly easy, I've got the keys. I've now got to just try and find the car in Bay 419. Must be this way. Here, it's not overly clearly labelled. The amount of times I've actually hired a car and you never get what you order. I actually went for a Fiat 500 or similar and I've actually got a Fiat 500. Smallest boots ever. Okay, so let's talk about the price. This cost me £45 for three days, but 
I have opted for the extra insurance because I get paranoid because sometimes the insurance will really fleece you if you have a little nick or a little scratch or if somebody opens up their car door onto yours. For me, normally it's peace of mind just to get the extra insurance. However, it is quite expensive. It cost me a hundred pounds, which I know is stupid because it's a lot more than the actual car hire. I could chance it, and I have chanced it before if you want to do really cheap car hire. Obviously, you just have to pay a deposit of like £1,500 on your credit card. Off to Benidorm we go. I parked it close to the wall. Easy, does it? Door's not closed. Right, let's get on the road. I do like the red. Benidorm. Well, parking in Benidorm can be a pain. I don't know whether the areas in blue means you can park. Can I get in there? Should be able to get in there. I think I'm in. That'll do. Problem is, there's no signs whether you can park here or not. I better just double check and ask somebody. Um, can you park out there for free? Yeah, it's June, July. As a result, I can park out here. And would you believe I arrived at the same time as the coach transfer from the airport? <laughs> you couldn't make it up. So this is where I'm going to be staying tonight. Anyway, I'm here to do a few different hotels. Hello, just checking in, please. So my room is not quite ready, which is quite frustrating, isn't it, when you have been on a flight and you just want to kind of relaxed so I thought we'll go and check out the pool very posh stairs I feel like I'm in a nightclub there's nobody hardly in the pool pretty standard pool to be honest they do some entertainment over there there's a bar over here and because I've been delayed, they've given me a free drink coupon, which they've just written on the back of this. Wow, it's pretty warm in here. Definitely need to turn the aircon on. Right, let's give you the brief room tour. Let's open up the curtains, first of all. So here's my room. It's actually quite nice, very nice and clean. It's got a modern kind of twist to it. Hey, I've just noticed, look at that. That's actually in Zanti, that shipwreck. And I'll be there literally in a couple of weeks. You'll have to watch out for that video. I'll try and actually go over to the, um, the shipwreck itself. So yeah, very minimalistic. Big old TV, a little workstation, what's this? Dear Tim, thanks for choosing Helios Apartments. Enjoy some relaxing days by the Mediterranean Sea. Wish you a pleasant stay. How random. Is that a Spanish thing? I've got some olive oil there and uh, <laughs> some complimentary water. I'll do the bed test in a moment, but first let's check out the balcony. Not too much of a view. You can see over towards the mountains, but it's actually quite a big balcony. Let's do the bed test. Now normally, when you're in Spain, a lot of the beds are very firm. This is firm, but I think this is actually, um, I think, I oh know, shoes aren't on the bed, don't worry. I think this is actually kind of like a memory foam. A safe, a mini bar with nothing in it, bit of a shame. And that's where my hangers are. Little air conditioning unit here. The bathroom, where's the light? Oh, just there. Here's the bathroom. Very nice. Look at that. Some polishing has been going on there. Oh, the toilet's behind the, I was wondering where the toilet is. I was like, hang on, there's, there's no toilet in here. Huge shower. Shower has been left there. Looks all right. I do get some complimentary shower gel, which is quite nice. Quite unusual that the shower doesn't continue all the way up there. I assume that's a bit of a runoff as well. 
And the hairdryer is actually in the bathroom here. Little vanity mirror as well. Ooh, and a nice little shelf. One thing about Benidorm are the hotels are pretty high. This is all right. This is the top floor and it's the ninth floor. It doesn't go any higher. And the balcony does seem secure because uh, I've heard some horrendous horror stories from people on uh, balconies in Benidorm. I stayed in a hotel further down towards the old town and I think I was on the 30th floor. Now that was high. This isn't too bad. Well, the room's nice and clean, pretty modern, um, minimalistic. Don't forget, if you fancy coming to Benidorm and you want to see what it's all about, make sure you click the video here. Or well, there's more travel day videos here. Do give the video a thumbs up. It does help me out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.